all of these people are on record saying they have sold their souls to the devil. Now, whether you believe in the devil existing or not, the archetypal manifestation of the devil, war, death, corruption, all of it, is manifesting, and these people are trying to bring it about. What are the villains doing in archetypal literature from around the world? They're trying to overthrow the world, trying to destroy the life force, trying to create death and destruction. What's the Bible say the archetypal devil does? Kill, steal, and destroy. What does the Red King or the devil want to do in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King? He's trying to overthrow the planet and shift its poles and throw it out of orbit of the sun, killing everyone on board. That is the nature of the devil is to overthrow all that is good. Whether the devil is real or not is not up for debate, atheist, because those that follow the mindset of the archetypal devil are real, and hence the devil is real. You understand that? Men envisioned rockets to the moon 500 plus years ago, and now we've sent rockets to the moon. You understand that? Because we are creators made in the image of the creator of the heavens. You can say, oh, well, that's delusional people running around in the desert 3,000 years ago with Moses saying that. Well, did it happen? Have you looked around? We are creators. We are builders. We're master builders. We're builders. The devil is a destroyer. Okay? So I choose to be with the builder, not the destroyer. I'm a builder. I'm a creator. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I'm a better fighter than a fighter because I am a lover. Any real man knows that. Any real man doesn't have fear except for fear of the innocent being trodden underfoot. And then you're ready to do what it takes. That means hacking 50 people up with a meat cleaver like Samson. It's time for good people to find their strength. It's time for good people to decide what they stand for. It's time for good people to stop giving the world over to evil. As for me and my family, we have never really developed an exit strategy except for total nuclear meltdown. And I have looked at areas that are out of the main uh, trade winds and Coriolis of the Northern Hemisphere. And it's just, there's not a lot of good places to go. I can move to some farm, live extremely low key and poor, and probably be left alone if I move to the mountains, plain areas of somewhere like Chile. I've looked at Chile. Very beautiful, somewhat more moral people compared to some of the other areas of Latin America. A lot of European expatriates and American expatriates. Costa Rica is beautiful, but when the hell goes to in a handbasket, it's going to melt down as well. You can go to the outback of Australia, it's globalist run, but if you ran them, tried to be left alone, you probably could be for at least a while. There's some areas of Northern Europe that are pretty good. Iceland is okay, but there's 400,000 people there and tenuous resources, but at least they've got their heads screwed on straight, and that's really what matters. If humans just work together for liberty, we're unstoppable. Switzerland, if you've got the money, which I really don't, not long term, you got to really bring stuff to the table to go to Switzerland. And the list just goes on and on from there. There's really nowhere to run, and my gut tells me that I'm not going to run. I need to stay here and try to fight and beat this. The problem is you look at the general public who, even though they're awake to the fact that we're going into tyranny, they still have no respect for themselves and almost have a hopelessness to just turn over the world to this evil. And if you look at textbook autocratic tyrannies, systems that the tyrannous spider weaves throughout history, this is the most thought out, premeditated, scientifically prepared evil the world has ever seen that now has hijacked and runs America and is going into overdrive in the personage 
and the personality and the signet and logo and figurehead and shield and foil and shill that is the abomination Barack Hussein Obama. And now I realize that one of the few areas where I've not been visionary is Obama because I began to think that I knew that all politicians were puppets run by the globalist, which they are. But then in Obama, we're seeing like a baseball pitcher who's the closer in the eighth and ninth inning. And I see every sign they're making the move to close. And I try to hope and I try to pray and I try to look at how we're winning on many fronts, but that's why they're closing. But then that's why I realize I've got to stay and put my fat in the fire no matter what happens and double down. But I don't blame anybody who wants to get out of here. Because here's the deal. It is foreign mega banks that are running things who use socialism to control the general population but are really fascist, crony capitalist, anti-free market monopoly men. But their ground level and mid-level enforcers are degenerate, Luciferian, satanic, Jacobin, French Revolution types. And they've got a score to settle with people like me. And they don't want even money. They don't even want the sex slaves. They don't even want to be above the law. They want to torture good men, women, and children. They want us in dungeons. They want to suck our life force out. They want to dominate goodness. And I'm telling you, looking at these spiders licking their lips, wanting to literally suck me dry, it doesn't cause fear, but I don't want to give them what they want at the same time. And then my instinct tells me, listen, you've done enough. Get out of there. You can talk to people from a distance. But then I've built this organization and this operation. When they start arresting members of the media, folks that are, I mean, I'll just say it here. And I've got this from two different high-level sources. D D'Souza has this America film coming out about trying to deprogram the minorities that have been put on the Ku Klux Klan, Kool-Aid, the Democratic Party. And they do not want people knowing the Democratic Party was the Ku Klux Klan and decided to go race politics the other way in 1963 when they knew they couldn't win anymore. LBJ made that decision. And I know D'Souza's been looking at that and that reportedly some of the things that are in his film. And they're not going to let that narrative be told. And then they're not going to let D'Souza make a film about Hillary. And so they're going to try to put him in jail. And when you see the mainstream corporate whore media line up and call for him to be imprisoned, not having any instinct for their profession or honor. I mean, you can say what you want about the cops, and, and they're, they're corrupt in many areas, but at least they look out for each other. At least they understand that the whole system's not looking out for them, that they're the bottom of the barrel of the government where the rubber meets the road that are given all the dirty jobs, and at least police know to stick up for each other. Where is the press sticking up for each other, you morons? If they can destroy Dinesh D'Souza, they can destroy anybody, you morons. And then you won't even be needed as a minion of the system anymore. Once they get rid of the real press, they're going to get rid of the faux press, dummies. You have no basic instinct. You have no common sense. You have nothing, morons. And we're going to lose due process and lose the weights and balances, just weights and balances, and then everything is going to go into a tyrannical black hole, you fools. The, I've told you this before. Picture our republic as a gate against incredible evil. Look at the rest of the world. You ought to travel. It's hellish. Look at Western society. It's falling. It was literally godlike compared to other societies. That's why everyone wanted to go to Western Europe and wanted to go to America. And now all of it's falling, ladies and gentlemen. The gates are physically, financially, spiritually, culturally falling. They're doing satanic ceremonies in every national television event, just like they did in Rome, just like they did in Babylon, just like they did everywhere else before. All hell breaks loose. And now image, image the walls like a force field shield that are becoming very thin. And the enemy's able to jump through the gate now more and more. 
The enemy is now amongst us, but that's only the vanguard of the enemy. When those gates fully fall, it's going to be French Revolution, folks. We all need to recognize what it is and say no to it. And we need to do like Ted Cruz has said, Obama is frightening and dangerous. And now Matt Drudge has come out, and I've retweeted it at Real Alex Jones. Please retweet it from there, folks. He says, have an exit plan. And he's just got away with words, saying it's so simple to get people thinking. Because I would say, you got to have an exit plan because there, it looks like they're going to implode the economy and go after their political enemies. And historically, this shows that it's a problem. I would talk for two hours trying to explain why you have to have an exit plan. He would just say, have an exit plan. And everybody then has a debate and goes, oh, yeah, I know why we need an exit plan. As Mark Slavo reports in his article on it, Matt Drudge issues warning, have an exit plan. And you've got the former main producer, Gerald Molan, of Schindler's List, saying for the first time, I fear the government and I'm scared living in America. Well, you should be concerned, folks, and you should be concerned about what's going on. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. See the rest of The Alex Jones Show at our sister channel, The Info Warrior, or become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv and help us take the message of freedom and liberty to the next level. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.